Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So let's continue with the Taiwan server meta build. This time I'm going to show you the Gluten Cross Assassin Qatar build. Let's jump right into it. Alright, I'm going to start with this one. He deal around 200k to 300k normal attack crit damage. And I believe that is cross impact skill. 11 million crit damage. He has upgraded Awakening level 5 and Refine Awakening level 2. He uses 2 blue strength ring and 1 Vesper crit white talisman to have higher crit to land crit damage to the Komodo Island monster. As you may have already know, Komodo Island monster have higher crit resist compared to the other lower level monster and he use 1 gold Qatar weapon. On weapon, he has strength enchant. For card, he has 2 snake poison card, 2 aster poison card and 1 evil druid crit damage bonus card. On accessories, he has strength enchant. For card, he has 1 galopago final crit card and 1 bloody knight crit damage bonus card. On the other accessories, he has dex and strength enchant. Now dex is necessary and needed in Komodo Island to increase the hit rate because the monsters in Komodo Island do not just have higher crit resist but also higher flee. For card, he has 1 marine sphere physical damage bonus card and 1 galopago final crit card. On talisman, he has strength enchant one marine sphere physical damage bonus card and one bloody knight card on armor he has strength enchant and hp cards On headgear, he has 4 joker poison cards and one narrate physical damage bonus card Looks like he has a lot of poison enchantment in his build. With this arrangement, he has 2069 strength, around 58k physical attack, 198% final crit, 854% attack speed, 310% crit damage bonus, 75% final physical damage bonus, and 150% poison attribute enchantment. His overall stat is not bad, but from what I saw for crit build, from looking around crit player's stat, usually those players that deal a lot of crit damage typically have around 400% crit damage bonus. This is a challenge for crit players on higher level map monster. Due to the higher crit resist that the monster has in Komodo Island map, players need to increase the final crit to about 190%. That means player may need to get final crit card and compromising on using crit damage bonus card or the final physical damage bonus card. That being said, sometimes players need to prioritize which stat they need to increase, either crit damage bonus or the final physical damage bonus stat. Let's look for more example. Next, this one deal around 840k normal attack crit damage and 33 million cross impact skill crit damage. He has upgrade awakening level 5 with max upgrade on the weapon and refine awakening level 3. He uses 2 strength gold accessories, 1 vesper crit white talisman and use gold Qatar weapon. On weapon, he has strength enchant and 5 evil druid crit damage bonus card. On accessories, he has small size enchantment, poison attribute enchantment and strength enchantment. For card, he has 1 marine sphere final physical damage bonus card and 1 bloody knight crit damage bonus card. On the other accessories, he has big size enchantment enchantment and poison attribute enchantment and similar card one million sphere final physical damage bonus card and one bloody knight crit damage bonus card on talisman he has big size enchantment medium size enchantment and poison attribute enchantment at this point i'm not sure what size enchantment he is going for he has all three size enchantment on his enchant for card he has two bloody knight crit damage bonus cards on armor he has strength enchant and hp cards On headgear, he has 3 joker poison cards and 1 raid final physical damage bonus card. With this, he has 2245 strength, around 86k physical attack, 193% final crit, 1018% attack speed. Now, the maximum attack speed is kept at 1000%. So anything over than 1000%, it will only be considered as 1000%. 462% crit damage bonus, 99% final physical damage bonus, 107% poison attribute enchantment and various type of size enchantment. His build is perfect. 
I am not sure where he got his final physical damage bonus stat, but I guess he got it from the shadow equipment. He focused more on crit damage bonus stat for Kart to reach over 400% crit damage bonus and just a little over 100% poison attribute enchantment. Alright, next one. She deal 900k normal attack crit damage and 40 million cross impact skill damage. Higher than the previous example. What makes her damage so high? Let's look at her build. Surprise, surprise. Not a single goal equipment used. Her high damage may be due to the certificate crit damage bonus white talisman that she used. Let's look into it further. She has upgraded awakening level 6 and refined awakening level 3. On weapon, she has strength enchant, 4 aster poison cards and 1 evil druid crit damage bonus card. I see. Different than the previous example. I can more or less already know what is her build looks like at this point. Brilliant. Alright, let's go on. On the strength accessories, she has strength and dex enchant, 1 marine sphere final physical damage bonus card and 1 bloody knight crit damage bonus card. On the other strength accessories, she has strength enchant and similar card, 1 marine sphere physical damage bonus card and 1 bloody knight crit damage bonus card. On talisman, she has 2 bloody knight crit damage bonus card. I'm surprised that she does not use 6 bloody knight cards for accessories and talisman. On armor, she has strength enchant and HP cards. On headgear, yep, just what I thought. No other than the Joker card. She has 4 Joker poison cards. With this, she has 3056 strength, around 95k physical attack, 152% final crit, lower than the others. Not surprised there, because she does not have final crit card in her build. 1012% attack speed, which is kept to 1000%, 443% crit damage bonus, 60% final physical damage bonus, and 135% poison attribute enchantment. No added size enchantment in her build. The size damage increase that she get in her start I think mostly from card awakening. She actually only focused on two elements of damage multiplier, the crit damage bonus stat and the poison attribute enchantment. And yet she deal a lot of damage too. She need to start thinking to get her final crit higher and also to get some decks for hit rate. Because who knows, the monster or next map, the Umbala and Juno map may have higher crit resist and flee stat than the Komodo Island monster. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to thank you for always supporting me and this channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video that's it for now i'll see you on the next video and as always happy playing bye bye